hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial number 15 of the Lost in the Sea series and this is the third and last part of rigging the octopus. You can find the part 1 and the part 2 in the description or in my channel. Today we are going to create the drivers for the shape keys which is very helpful to animate. So basically we need two bones, one bone for the upper eyelid and the other one for the lower eyelid. So select the armature, go into edit mode and extrude the bone in the z-axis, press alt p to disconnect the bone and you can place it somewhere like this. Duplicate it with shift d and rotate it 180 degrees. Rename it to right lead up and the other one to right lead down. Let's push a new window from the left and select graph editor and also select drivers. Press N to make this panel appear and now the bones we created will be the drivers and to apply a driver to them we select the eye, go to the shape key separator and press right click in the up underscore close key. And now we select add driver and press on manually create later. By the way in the older versions of Blender you just need to select add driver. And as soon as we add the driver it appears on the left and we see a straight diagonal line. Select it and these options appear on this panel and we need to go to the driver separator and down here let's say the driver is in the octopus armature and it's the right lead up that will move in the Y location of the local space. Last thing is to select average value in the type and press update dependencies. Now, when we try to move the bone up, as you can see the eye closes. And we want the opposite, we want to move the bone down so the eye can close. This has to do with the diagonal line and where it's pointing. It has to point in the opposite direction. And to change that, we press in the F-curve separator and this value has to be positive. So let's change that value and as you can see, when it passes a value of 1, the line rotates to the opposite direction. Update the dependencies to see the result and as you can see now, when we push down, the eyelid will also go down. We could also change the line directly in the graph and move this keyframe like this until the line rotates in the opposite direction and it points to the negative value. So let's do it one more time, now for the upper eyelid to open. And by the way, if we press Alt G, you can reset the position of the armature. So press with the right click here and add a driver. Now select it, go to the drivers tab, select average value, select the octopus armature and the right lead up. And not left eyelid like I did. Uh, set the time to Y location and to local space. You can see that both lines point in opposite directions. And now everything moves in the right direction. At this point when we want to open the eyelid or close the eyelid we have to move too much the bone. And to avoid that we have to go to this tab called modifiers and add a generator that will multiply the value in the graph editor. And as soon as we put a value in here, like 3, we can see the line is almost straight. Now when we move the bone up, we can see that the eye follows along. And we don't need to go so high in the Y axis to open it like we did before. That's pretty amazing. Now do the same for the close eye, but this time the value has to be negative since in the graph editor we can see the line points to the negative values. And this means we have to multiply with a negative value. It's almost perfect, we just need to limit the location of the bone with a limit location constraint. Lock the X axis and the Z axis since we only need to move in the Y axis. Select local space. And the arrow of the Y axis points towards the positive values. And that corresponds to the maximum Y. And as soon as we push it up, we can discover the position in this side panel and that the value around 40 cm will do the work. And minus 
35 centimeters will be great for the minimum Y. And that's how it discovers the minimums and the maximums of these drivers. Now we have to repeat this process for the lower eyelid. So recapitulating, we add the driver and in the graph editor we go to the driver separator, select average value, the object is the octopus armature and the bone is the right lid down. Set the type to Y location and space to local space. See if you need to invert the line. In case you need, go to the F curve separator and move the curve in the graph editor or play with the values of the key until the curve is rotated. And at the end, add the modifier generator so we don't need to move too much the bone up and down. And that's it. Now we have to repeat this process for the other shape key. And at the end, add the limit location. And basically we repeat all these steps for the left eye. After adding the drivers to the eyes, I found it useful if we could add a driver for the shape keys of the pupils. And then when we push up the pupil it gets bigger and when we push down the bone it gets smaller. I found it quite useful. It's basically the same process so if you want it you can replicate it. And that's it guys, we have completed our rig for the octopus. Just a quick tip, for those who want to have a better control on the tentacles, we simply need to enter in edit mode, extrude the bone and clear the parent. And in pose mode select this bone and the other one. Press Ctrl Shift C to select inverse kinematics and set the chain length to 2. And now, now as you can see we have a better control on the tentacle and can decide if it points up, down, to the left or to the right. And yes, now we have completed our rig and we are ready to create some animations to import to Unity and set up the rest of the scenario. So, thanks for watching, hope you are enjoying the Lost in the Sea series and subscribe for more game development related tutorials and see you in the next tutorials.